Hello my friends, Thomas with Alpha Concepts and today I want to talk to you about the perfect revolver grip. Uh, if you know anything about me, you know I'm not necessarily a revolver fan, but revolvers do have a place. Uh, and so for some, revolvers make sense. Uh, revolvers certainly make sense if you're uh, worried about uh, a bear or something like that. But we have to grip a revolver differently than we grip a semi-automatic pistol and that's what we're going to talk about today. All right, so we're working with an unloaded revolver. This happens to be a fairly affordable uh, Charter Arms Undercover 38 Special Snub Nose Revolver. Again, it's clear, it's empty, uh, no ammunition anywhere in the room, so we know that we're not going to have any bangs. Um, when we grip this revolver, okay, we again, we need to grip it a little bit different than we would a semi-automatic pistol. If you watched our video about how to perfectly grip the semi-automatic pistol, you may remember that I'm an advocate of that thumbs forward grip. The problem with the thumbs forward grip on a revolver is the cylinder rotates. And as the cylinder is rotating, I could, with a thumbs forward grip, interrupt that rotation, okay? So we don't want to do that, number one. Number two, we've got a gas gap between the cylinder and the barrel. They're not connected, the cylinder rotates, there's a gap between the cylinder and the barrel, which means gas escapes from the cylinder. And that's pretty hot gas. The, the temperature of handgun ammunition is 2,000 plus degrees, especially uh, when we get into center fire ammunition. You're going to burn your thumb. If your thumb is forward like that, you're going to burn your thumb. So not only might you interfere with the rotation of the revolver uh, of the cylinder, you also uh, could hurt yourself. And obviously, we don't want to hurt ourselves. Uh, that's not the goal when we're using a firearm. For that reason, when we grip the revolver, we want to grip it differently. So we know that for a semi-automatic pistol, we put our strong thumb over our weak thumb. But it's actually the opposite for a revolver grip. We put our weak thumb over our strong thumb. And depending on uh, the size of the revolver and the size of your hands, you might find that it's nice to just rest your thumb on top of your thumbnail. So you would put your support thumb on top of the thumbnail of your strong thumb, or you might find it comfortable to rest your thumb back here on the webbing of your hand. You've got to decide what works for you. Again, it's going to be based upon the size of your hand as well as the size of the revolver. In addition, if we're going to fire this revolver in single action mode, I don't want to cock the hammer with my strong thumb. Because if we look at my grip here, when I cock the hammer with my strong thumb, I'm actually breaking that grip. You see that on the back strap, a gap opens up, my hand actually comes off and I'm breaking that grip. So that's obviously not ideal. So if I'm gonna cock that hammer in single action mode, I actually take my support thumb and I'm gonna cock the hammer with that support thumb. This way I'm always maintaining a very good one-handed grip with this revolver. Always have a great one-handed grip. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a fan of muscle memory and consistency. I harp on it, I preach on it. Muscle, muscle memory and consistency is a thing. When I pick up a revolver, I have to consciously remind myself because again, I'm a semi-automatic pistol shooter. I, sh I shoot with the, the, the thumbs forward. I have to consciously remind myself to wrap my thumbs when I'm shooting a revolver. So we're gonna take the revolver. We're gonna get a good one-handed grip. We're going to wrap our thumbs, whatever's comfortable for us, making sure we're not interfering with the cylinder rotation. You have to figure out what works for you as far as where you place your thumbs, but that's how you perfectly grip a revolver. If you've got any questions that you want answered, leave a comment. I'd love to answer those questions for you, be it about concealed carry, uh, a firearm training technique or, or tip, something that you'd like to have answered, leave a comment or uh, go to our website if you want to ask privately, use the contact form and we'll be happy to help you out. If you found this video helpful in any way, please do like and if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications and share this video with your friends. As always everybody, be armed, be trained and be alpha and I'll catch you on the next video.